Good morning and welcome to Morning Man. I'm Pastor Michael and today's focus, as it has been all week, is on digging into making our devotional life more robust, a deeper, more effective devotional life. Today's focus is on what is easily among the most religious of spiritual enterprises, and at the same time, among the most spiritual and life-giving. We're talking about prayer, but I'm getting ahead of myself. All week, we've been focusing on one powerful passage of scripture found there in chapter six of Jeremiah, verse 16. Thus says the Lord, stand by the way, stand by the road, and see and look and ask for the ancient paths. Ask for what God would do in your life today, what God would do in your life in your next phase of your life. Ask for, ask for the ancient paths where the good way is and walk in it and you'll find rest for your souls. So I've taken the liberty of selecting just six spiritual disciplines. There are many others and we call those in this passage the ancient paths. So routine, we started with that on Monday. We looked at devotionals and Bible reading. Today's talk is about prayer and tomorrow we'll dive into meditation and then finally we'll close out the week with journaling. Now when I said that prayer is among the most religious of spiritual exercises, I simply meant that every religion and religious people of all different types, even in the Christian faith, acknowledge that the ritual of prayer is an active part of their expression of faith toward God. Sadly for many people, the prayer that they're thinking of is devoid of life. It's just rote, it's ritual, it's religious. Jesus was extremely hard on religious people, if you remember that, because religion separated people from God rather than attract people to God. By the same token, Jesus also loved prayer, which seems contradictory. He spent the whole night alone in prayer with God. So how can we embrace this prayer, this idea of prayer in a non-religious, passionate, yet life-giving way that attracts us to God and God to us? Let me give you a handful. Number one, treat prayer like conversation. Make prayer like a part of your daily life. I talk to God all day long. Number two, Go to God first with your needs and struggles. Sadly, the first person many people turn to in times of distress is a human person, not the person of God. Number three, view and treat prayer as a two-way street, as a doorway for God into your circumstances and as an opening into his presence for you. Remember, the presence of God is a person. He's the Holy Spirit. Number four, listen. Listening is a form of prayer because it's part of a conversation. One of my favorite books of the Bible is Ecclesiastes, and here in chapter five, it says, verses one and two, it says, guard your steps as you go to the house of God. Draw near to listen rather than to offer the sacrifice of fools, for they do not know they're doing evil. What is the evil? Let's look and see. Do not be hasty in word or impulsive in thought to bring up a matter in the presence of God, for God is in heaven and you're on the earth. Therefore, let your words be few. God is speaking. He wants to speak to you. And Ecclesiastes t teaches us to go into the house of God, into the presence of God, listening. So listen, let's try that right now. I'm gonna say goodbye, you bow your head, listen to what God has to say to you. See you tomorrow.